Guzo looked like a thug. He, not that he looked like a thug. He was a thug. His outlook speaks to someone who is a a, a vagabond. We like critic from Lola. That's from Lola. Said that from Lola. If he be, she has that persona of being tough. I will fault the director because at some point this is a gun. No matter how small the gun is, if you've been actually um, involved or probably you've been attacked by a robber or by someone who has a gun, mm. trust me, you will not hmm. be standing tall like Bonner Boy. Nigerians, can we just leave action fame? Mm, why? For, you know, till we get it right. The way Bless comes out from pop action mm. and the way it comes out from AK-47, it's not the same thing. Okay. Yes, and... Because you've shot one before. Hey, moving on. <laughs> so... <laughs> Hey guys, this is POV and you are welcome. I am Michelle Abanum and do not go anywhere because I'll be right back. Welcome back. Now today we'll be looking at the movie Criminal. In a bustling Lagos hospital overwhelmed by victims of a catastrophic accident, a principal doctor faces a deadly dilemma when a dangerous criminal barges in and demands medical treatment for his seriously injured brother. This thriller criminal was directed by Dolako Adigo. The film which marks Adigo's directorial debut features a talented and zen cast including Fulola, Uzo Arukwe and Shego Arinzi. This one was written by the talented Ni Akimolayo. Now guys, I have very amazing special people in the studio. They are, you know, usual guests, but they are still guests. Hi, AY. Hi, Jude. How you doing? Hello, Michelle. How you doing? You don't seem excited. Why has the, has excited? the economy talk slapped to you? Talk to us. What was the problem? Talk to me. Talk to me. Uh, it's not how, a giant. <laughs> <laughs> how can I solve your problem? You can see someone wearing cap. We ain't saying it all. You are doing. Now. Feel yeah. free. Ah. Why? Come on. These guys and bad government. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Ay. How are you? Doing? Good, good, good. You look good, by the way. Thank you so much. All right. So today we'll be looking at criminal. Mm. When you saw this movie, I'd love to know. Jude, <laughs> why are you laughing? I'd love to know what your first thought was. Like, what came to mind when you saw the movie? Criminal, yeah. guns, gangs, violence, backstabbing, police. That's what I. That's what. Those are the things that came to my mind. So. All right, Jude. Uh, same thing. Um, I was expecting to watch. I don't know if you guys have watched this movie, um, Third World Cup. It's an old movie from a Jamaican mm-hmm. movie and stuff. So I expected to see something like that. It was all about gangster, you know, guns and everything. What happens in, you know, the criminal scenes. Yeah, and the but, trenches, have you? Yeah, mm-hmm. so, but... Let me try All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think we should start with filming, right? What do you think about the production, Jude? How would you rate the cinematography and all of that? Cinematography was on point because I enjoyed all the shots. You know, I loved the shots. There was no issues with the shots. I knew I had my issues with, but the shots were on point. Mm-hmm. Let me just stop there. Ah, so brief. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I was shocked. <laughs> Well, the the filming was okay. It was mm. okay for me. It's um, I, I I don't think they had had any issue with shaky shots. Even mm. if there were shaky shots, it was intentional. So then the the editing too, editing was good too. The mm. feel was also good. So so uh, and they had luck in terms of locations. We didn't have too many mm. movements. Yeah, the storyline just centered one. It was just in one location. If they had to go to somewhere else, probably the where the flashback. the truck was parked, yeah. then the flashbacks. But aside that, it was just good, good. All right, let's talk about makeup, costume, certain props. Mm. What would you speak to that? What would you say about that? It was good. Uh, I like the makeup, especially with the scar on Uzo's face. I'm trying to remember his name in the movie now. His name was Uzo. Uzo. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uzo. Yeah, yeah. Uzo. Uzo as well. So I love the scar. It was consistent. Then the makeup and costume consists of everything in terms of the art direction as well too. So I love the hospital setting. Uh, that's a typical hospital for you. The the drips, the, the aesthetics you know, of the hospital. Then 
if you watch the movie, there's a particular point where by the doctor was trying to do a CS, the cesarean section. I saw that as well. Then the doll baby that was used as well, quite convincing too. The blood, you know, was quite good as well. The the guns that were being shot, real. Then the the costumes of the hospital staff, the doctors and the nurses were very apt. So for me, the costumier was uh, done is his or research when it comes to understanding how a hospital should look like yeah. and how the setup should be. So for me, it was okay. I I loved every bit of it. Okay. All right. So the costume, the costumier, he did a great job. We were believable. We knew it was the hospital. The whole setting was over, almost, you know, almost real. Yeah. Let me use the word. Very almost close real. to <laughs> being real. Man. Then we have an issue. Mm-hmm. I've said it, guys. Blood. I don't know. I don't know. But Nigerians, can we just leave action film? Mm, why? For you know, till we get it right. I don't know. I just have an issue because when we, when we talked about um, House of Ga. You see, I complimented them very well because mm-hmm. I actually it was believable. Mm-hmm. You understand? The blood, according to you, the blood was blooding mm-hmm. and everything. But when it got to this other movie, now let's be real. Now, if it's someone has, I've seen um, lots of movies. They mm-hmm. use, um, yeah, he was holding an AK-47 and a rifle. Mm-hmm. Now, this is two guns. Now, a pistol. Oh, sorry, a pistol. Sorry. Yeah. And when you got to the little um what they call it when they were having this back and forth with the the guy that entered inside the building okay the police officer that went mm-hmm. inside the building when yeah. they were shooting you understand now look at the way the bullets came out from that it was obvious that see a pump action the way bullets comes out from pump action mm. and the way it comes out from ak47 it's not the same thing okay you understand because you've shot one before yeah, moving on <laughs> so <laughs> no i'm just saying it okay. now the sounds are not the same okay ask any police officer any military officer mm. who tell you that you can stay and say, Oh, that's a pistol, that's a this, that's this one, mm. that's this, mm. because of what the sound, the sound, mm. yes. And so, when they are, I'm just saying this, yeah, maybe it's the editor, maybe when they're doing, I know they, I also watched the behind the scene, like when he shuts um, up, mm. that the, the, gla- the light went off, yeah, you know, to get, get their attention. Mm. Now, that was at, at, uh, actually after effect was. Um, they used some special effect to achieve that. I actually didn't shoot anything, you understand? But he did a great job in that one. But you see that sounds, those sound. Mm-hmm. Now it's very important because people that go to watch these movies are people that maybe are actually had maybe some rough moments. Yeah, true. You understand? They can actually tell. Mm-hmm. You understand? You're trying to pass a message. You understand? Then on that thing again, I don't know if it's just me, I noticed it too. But how will you say, I had a siren. Like police siren. Yes. Mm. And when you now said go and lock the gate, there was no police outside. And he took a while before the police arrived. I don't know if anybody noticed it. Maybe it's me or mm. because I saw that as well. Because when he said, ah, the police are approaching, hey, you go and lock the gate. They had the sound. They had the sound of police coming. But when they went to lock the gates, there's nobody outside. Uh, well, sound travel, so probably police were on their way. How long? Because later yeah, on, it was travels. even the people that came to pay visits to the patients mm. that got there before the police yeah. later on. So, how long will it? Wait, wait, okay, where do you hear the sound from? That's what I'm t- telling you that sound traveled. So, wow. yeah, no matter the distance, it travels. And a, a, a police siren is quite loud. So, there might be meters away. And you'll still get to hear it. How long will it take to get? To now that's a big question. I can't answer that. Because question. I feel like it took long. Mm, mm. Yes, and even either when you lock the gate, you're leaving. The next people that got to that location was even the police before those people. I said, okay, because the road was there, there was not like they showed anything. They want to show like there was a traffic or something, or they blocked somewhere. That's okay. Well, that's on the sound guy, or probably the editor. He didn't use the right horn or the right effect at the right time. Mm-hmm. So probably there was a delay and all that too. Fair enough. Now let's talk about scripting. Huh? What would you say about the script? Jude, let's start with you. Alright, uh, the script was, you know, it was great because I saw a lot of twists. Yeah. First of true. all, I thought it was um they had a police encounter that had that led to that injury of his brother and they shot his brother during the process. Later on, his brother's name is actually Chima. Chima. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so they shot Chima. <laughs> 
Thank God Chima did not die. Thank yes, so. Chima thank God Chima survived. He's always on top of things. Yeah. <laughs> so, we now later found out that it was not actually the police. It was actually one of the gang members. Yeah. Yeah. I love that twist. That twist was nice. Check, and another twist that happened again was when he now said, they robbed him because his brother they robbed him or mm. i know mm. no one he'll trace them that's how we found out that they did rob him but that's why the one that yeah. tried to restore by itself so that of twist was there then which other twist again i noticed again in the, in the movies again is um just that yeah. yeah we kind of saw how uzo became what he be- became yeah. right yeah, yeah. So, when his father i feel like maybe he kept he was maltreated by his father i just feel like that when he tried to defend his younger brother and then his father was beating him up mm. i feel like that maybe that process toughened him up or something another moral in that story is the you know, parents should be careful when we are trying to correct our children, children. Yeah. we should not be excessively forceful or hard on them yeah. because when you exert too so much force you know when you you know apply the kings of this world and all that they might turn out negative so it's important for parents to should know how to guide and guard their children all the way i believe that even though that's an excuse that's not an excuse sure. for you know bad behavior or yes. criminality you know because even if your father some criminals have turned out uh, we've had some criminals that actually came from a well um, loved families, so it's all depending on what you decide to do with your life at the end of the day. Yeah, but I, I love the morals that were um, exhibited or portrayed in that movie. The storyline too was quite good. This twist, however, the twist Jude mentioned was for me, you know, had is had the, the highest rating in my head because I did not even think yeah. that that guy was even his brother in the first place. I thought it was just a gang, gang member, member. Yeah. then a brother, then, oh, he's not just a brother. He actually helped you out of the prison, yes. saved your life, gave you a new uh, yeah. a new chance in life and all that. So the twist for me was okay. Um, the, the hospital as well, the name of the hospital, I actually Googled that name, Greenleaf Hospital. It doesn't exist. So it was quite smart of you. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't exist. Even the logo itself was just... Tweak. If you go online, you check out the hospital name of the hospital. They had to you know, tweak some designs just to achieve that. Because I was in my head, I was thinking that l- I don't want them to use the hospital that is existing think, because yeah. it might demarket the hospital. Yes, that's true. So, but you no know, smart move you know, from the scriptwriter and all that. But for me, it's a good, good storyline. Not great, but good. But I also had issues of how they portrayed the the Amara, Doctor Amara Chuko. Is it how they portrayed her or how she interpreted this? No, it's how they portrayed her. Okay. Because I feel like she... It's actually how they portrayed her. Mm-hmm. Because she was also following the script. The script was saying that um, she was never tensed. You understand? Okay, I, I know where you're going You understand what I'm saying? Now, it's obvious that you have never encountered... Uh, what mm-hmm. do you call it? Um, that guy, calmness was... That like, calmness you had this was boldness. Like, you were actually much. approaching them and saying, I'm here. I'm the one you're looking for. No, please. No, I won't treat. Give me my phone. No, this one. It was. And again, they shot someone in your presence. Yeah, you saw people dead. That these guys actually have killed people. They're not even here for joke. Mm. According to you, no be chice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They're not even joking. The guy was too. And you're still showing this authority. Like, uh, nothing will happen. Even the extent that you even wanted to even jeopardize the life of that uh, little boy. When you yeah. was at that point, you come. I didn't know what happened. Now, religion came in. I don't know what happened. That like they gone, did not uh-huh. fire. You could not kill the boy, but yeah. now tested it on someone else. And it happened. Died. It could be the act of God. Yeah, religion it happened. Be, not religion, but the intervention of God. That's religion. Okay. Whatever, <laughs> whatever you say, whatever. Yes, yeah. about, all true. She was even telling him. Was even giving him orders. Like we should go outside. Here's my here's my phone. I want, ah. We like critic Funlola. That's Funlola acted that role. Funlola Aufiebi. Even though, yes, this is not the first time. If you're watching Funlola Aufiebi, she was in Tinsel you know, all yeah. the way. Then she also acted Adjure as well. She has that persona of being tough. Naturally, naturally. So I'm sure casting would have. Oh, this is the best person to interpret this role. Yeah. The script also might not have asked her to just be bold all Not the true. time. Yeah. But it's, I, I will fault the director. Yeah. Because at some point, this is a gun. No matter how small the gun is, <laughs> if you've been actually um, involved or probably you've been attacked by a robber or by someone who has a gun, mm. trust me, you will not hmm. be standing tall like Bonaboy. 
<laughs> no way. No matter how small the gun is. And I was talking from experience yeah. now. Do you get what I'm saying? So you you shake. You go fear at some point. But as you said, steeds, composure. That means it was not real. In terms of that aspect, she did not portray that, oh, this is a real life scene. Do you get what I'm saying? At some point, she was even like, do your worst. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you don't go say that as a medical exactly. practitioner. Exactly. And you know you have life to say. Yeah. So even and these guys are having hostages over there. Going, going by medical practice, you don't even talk like that. Even though you know that you try and calm him down. And then try to bargain. Psych- work on his psychology. Gets. Yeah. So in medicine, there's an aspect of medicine that talks about psychology. psychology. Yeah, that's true. Where you work with you know, some people that are not mentally stable. Yeah. So th- that was exempted. Even though I will not just, you know, bash everything because when it comes to delivering the terms and terminologies of medicine, yeah. she did it that's, that's well. That's what I even talk yeah. about. She killed it. She, she, all the n- words and the correct pronunciation it. and the way a medical doctor will talk, all, yeah. all the medical jargons and all that, she delivered it well. Yeah. So, like see the woman herself I sat down, that's from Lola, sat down with the medical doctor for a while. Probably, probably a family member is a medical doctor. She's yeah. used to the medical, um, whatever. And she delivered those lines well, all through. But in terms of being faced with, um, it was too much. Calm. Was with a gun or an yeah. armed person? I yeah. know too much, too much calmness. No, it's not believable. Then we have another issue. Is again, it's where I don't like how the movie ended. Okay, Yosa. when uh, Uzo was killed. killed, not because he's my guy. Understand? <laughs> okay. Let's take that out. It's not because he's my guy. Now, we have an issue is that now I don't want she injected him. There's something she may call that Politics, stuff. Politics, something, something, something. Yes. Now, you police, you always, you always you should hold you guys that this guy can go far. Mm. You understand? Now, you guys even help him accompany him all the way from off. You allowed him to walk down. Mm, you know, this guy does not even know where he's going. You can see the camera is already blur. Like how when he was seeing his colleagues yeah, are true, dead, yeah. it was already showing that it blur. You can't, can't even see properly again. What would you have done? Just grab him and just take him down. Exactly, but he was wielding a gun. You, they have so many. How many people are following him? Why is he at his back? Worst case scenario, shoot his, his leg. leg or something. This guy is already. Or use a rubber bullet. Ah, this guy is already down already. Mm. It's not as if but he's that's, still. That's yes, I know as if he's still active. He's already down. He actually like, wielded the gun. I think he was trying to raise it up. Again. Raise it up to shoot. But smart move will tell you that. Just ah, this guy won't see. Because the way he's even something. lifting the gun up is showing that this guy is not even seeing who he's going to shoot. Just want to just try something. Mm. He's just trying to form tough guy. So I didn't like how the movie ended because if you wanted to kill him, why don't you just shoot him when he was inside there with his brother when he was trying to use his brother to shoot himself? Then he was still active. But after she injected him that stuff, you can just capture him. Mm. But but kudos. To, uh, you talked about the uh, the director. This is his debut. So I don't want to like you know bash him too much because I saw some flaws when it comes to directing. Mm. That's what you just mentioned is a flaw itself because the scripting should have at least given us a even though there's not going to be a sequel, but let it not end like a tragic. Yeah, this was a pure tragedy. Yeah, do you get what I'm saying? So he should have actually had another chance to life by probably shooting his leg and all that. So that for me is an error. But still kudos to the director. I love directors who debut i love directors who debut Ramsey yeah. Noah is a classic example yeah. you know and all that so i won't bash him too much when it comes to this but for me even the i expected something more action action like in terms of gun dwell mm. we didn't really have much of the gun no. dwells and all that so it's just no more they try who was your standout actor uh i was hoping you would not ask me this question uh, why <laughs> because uh, it's just between it's either Uzo Urukwe or Fulola Awifiebi. Sheikh Gwan it was in that movie too, but it didn't really play a major role. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be tough because, but I'll go with Uzo, and the reason is because Uzo I've never seen Uzo play this kind of role before. I stand to be correct; he might have played something in the past, but did he interpret this role well? Yes, because he, he, Uzo looked like a thug. He, he, not that he looked like a thug. He was a thug. He was ruthless. At the point where he had to be calm and speak. At some point, he, you know, he could switch and yeah. all that. He did it so well. But was he tough? Even his outlook, shout out to the costumer and the makeup person. Yeah. His outlook speaks to someone who is a a, a vagabond. Let me use that word. Sorry for that. He's using that word. And he interpreted that role criminal. Now, after after watching that movie, I was like, okay, I was able to relate to the movie title because at the start, I was like, why would you name 
a movie criminal. Why? But after watching and what Uzo did for me, I was like, okay, Uzo Rukwe. Criminal. He's a criminal. He was a criminal in that movie. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, Jude, who was your standard actor? I can't actor? believe you're asking me this. Because <laughs> you uh, should know the answer already. Yeah, <laughs> so. He has a thing for Uzo, right? Okay. Because no I, homo. I, I don't know. Because him saying he's seen something different. Like, it's the first time he's, he saw yeah. something yeah. different. Yeah, he's seen anything different, too. Because mm. this is what I expect from Uzo. Yes, and if he did something that was not uh, outstanding, I'll say, ah, Uzo, he didn't even try. But this one is something he's used to. It's like he asks him to do what he's used to. Because Uzo but has. Does he this, ask this kind of roles? That's what I'm talking he about. He has been having that trait. Even when he played in, uh, what was this, uh, Funke movie? Tribe Called Judah. Tribe Called Judah. Mm-hmm. That's why he didn't hold a gun. You can notice that he has that, you know, that. Agbero um, tendency. Agbero tendency. Mm-hmm. That's why he was playing the chairman. Mm-hmm. He was still having those words that I can say. And again, him being that robotic, normal. Yeah. Don't be chai. Yeah, according to him. I have to lay what he's doing. <laughs> don't be chai. And he adding all those pigeon and other stuff. See, he was even sounding like. I don't know if you guys have been to the east before i see all those uh, uh there are people in abba they call the york yeah so those guys has that you know those kind of accent accent exactly okay. how he was speaking that was how those guys speak those are his own was not as thick as theirs mm-hmm. you understand but he killed it so Uzo is my guy okay all right i think Uzo Uzo did it for me too as well mm. now would you <laughs> say would you <laughs> <laughs> Jude, I think I should start with you. Yes, please. Yeah. So, <laughs> yes. would you toast to the movie or it's a roast? Oh. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. My guy. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let me use the accent. <clears throat> In fact, this is the movie that I'm going to <laughs> talk about like this. That we have all talked about like this. When they look at me. <laughs> For me. Is a toast. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. happy after you are saying. <laughs> You're not happy, right? Uh, All right. No, nah, for me it's a roast. I know. Mm. I did not expect it, but <laughs> it's a roast. It's a roast. Um, it's it's not a complete roast though, but mm. it's it's supposed to be a thriller, right? An action thriller, right? No, it didn't really do more of that. Mm. Um, Uzo was a criminal, but story telling was not it was not real if you had so many flaws in terms of the storytelling now if somebody's bleeding you didn't attend to him in this hospital go to the next hospital you want me the person die no yeah mm-hmm. it was a specialist now oh come she on popular no, you, for that you know, stuff. No, no, no. and she was giving you attitude uh no you move away you want to save the person's life now you don't stay there stay put but well, she's the best in the game. Well, there's nobody best in the game. The time that was spent <laughs> doing all brother, this drama. Nobody, they, they and I had that issue too it, because it, I noticed yeah, yeah, so. like you stay, you spend long. Yeah, and this guy should have died since. Yes, yes no, it's a, it's, it was shot lower belly. <laughs> That's one. So, so a lot of flaws. Directing to even though shout shot, out to you, Dolakbo. Then me to wrote the movie. Me, I came along and wrote the movie too. For those who know me, me when it comes to storytelling, it's sabi. But this one for me, I'll he missed out somewhere. Uh, I'll roast you. I'll because, roast you. But no, so, I'll not burn you, but I'll roast you. So, Jude, mm. are you sure you didn't do this out of bias? It's his opinion, right? Because the way you are supporting AY and saying, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my... She no. Uzo is in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? hey, the way he feels about Uzo is the way you feel about Timini, too. No, but you you trusted to Timini's movie. Because it was good. You trusted it. Because of Bimbo. Uh, uh, aside. <laughs> hey, whatever. <laughs> Besides um, bias, it was a great movie. Yeah, yeah, it was a great movie. The same as it. Um, <laughs> criminal. Because I'm great about movie. to roast the movie as well, right? I, like, I'm about like to say something. It's else. a roast, my brother. It's a roast. First Why? of all, I'm not such a great fan of photo shooting, shooting, trailer. Mm. Nonsense, nonsense, nonsense. However, it wasn't real. What wasn't real? The whole I, I doctor. No, she has to explain to me. She just can't roast something the, like that. The what? whole doctor uh, thing. What doctor thing happened there? It was not I, real. I Did they use syringe? Did they use uh, blood uh, bag? What? It was not real. <laughs> it was. It wasn't real. Trust me. What was not real? The movie. The storyline. I, like <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it wasn't real. What was that? Okay. Sorry. Sorry for yourself. <laughs> 
I don't even know why I'm answering you. You have right? to explain to us. You can't just say, say you have, me and him, have, he explained his own. I understand his own aspect. Now you explain your own. All right. So I'll answer you. Thank you. I stated earlier that mm. the whole confidence that that woman portrayed, that the it, doctor it's, Amara. It's, I, I don't think that can ever, except you yourself, you're a criminal. <laughs> you've been shooting people, you've killed people, or you probably know that there's no bullet in that gun, mm. right? I don't feel like that so that's is the a, one of continue. Wait, you come. <laughs> God, and then the fact that somebody is almost dying and then you brought the person to the hospital they cannot attend okay first of all i feel like even if in that kind of situation even if they could not do the surgery there are ways you can stabilize somebody yeah, for a aid, while yeah. till you finish the surgery so all those back and forth that like, beat the this thing the security guards, they say, go and lock the door. You can see these people holding guns. You do not have a gun. You do not have anything. Mm-hmm. And I say, no, I will not lock the door. This is not a bank. This is Those things are not real. Even the you doctor, understand? the male doctor too, that was trying to confront them. Yes. And all that. So you it, can. You are a doctor yourself and you are not even part of the surgery. You can easily stabilize that yes. patient. Pending when doctor, whoever, whoever hmm. is. You should still get that. Did I make now, the right now, choice? Now, no, I, I, made the, I made the right choice. <laughs> are you sick? Ah, the morals. Why are you thinking? Let's talk about the morals. Let's leave. What are the morals? What are the morals? Uh-uh. You are the one talking no, about the morals. morals. Yeah. Good. You mentioned one already. Well, Mr. How the why parents? are you condoning this? Because, no, no, no. I need to school has, him. I need to school him. He has now. Yeah. And we are roasting. No, he, she can't roast. <laughs> Uzo <laughs> <laughs> acted this movie. Uh-huh. No, I'm not. No doubt. Uzo did a great job, yeah. But is a roast, my dear. Take it with your Uzo. Exactly. Just just it. <laughs> 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 All right, no, guys. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Uzo, no doubt, you're a fantastic actor. Course, Great, but the story course. it was that's the thing about movies try to make your story real, yeah, right? True. Let people be able to relate to it and even come out of the fact that this is actually a movie. That's what makes it you only used to say it, right? that's what makes a great movie when people can no longer tell that this is it. You used to say it all the time, so can you travel either. this December to your village to the east? <laughs> 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 All right, guys, this is where we draw the curtain on the show today. It's a wrap. Because Jude, you know, toasted to the movie, yeah. it's still a, you know, it's still saying that you can see the movie, right? I, I really think you should see the movie. Tell us what you think. Tell us your POV in the comment section. We'll be waiting right there for you. Thank you so much. Have a great time. This is POV, and I am Michelle Apanum. Bye bye.